joyful mathematics? I'm sure you are. Well, I'm enjoying this beautiful weather. See how pleasant it is. I have decided to go for a stroll in the park. You want to come and join me? Come. Wow, so beautiful, <laughs> isn't it? Huh? Look what I found. A beautiful lush green tree standing tall. And what does it represent? It represents a straight line. A vertical straight line. Well, but this is not the only line that I'm seeing around me. I have so many lines here. You want to know which one I'm talking about? Well, I'm talking about straight line, a curved line, a slanting line. Well, now that we have learnt about different kinds of lines, let's explore what else is happening in the park. Um, hey, see, there is a bunch of kids performing yoga sun. I can see Preeti doing Surya Namaskar. And this represents a straight line. Let's see what else they are doing. Oh, I can see Gurmeet there. He is doing push-ups. And that represents a slanting line. Well, they are performing yoga, son. We also need to do some kind of exercise. Don't worry. I have a few questions for you. Let's take the First one, you need to circle the asans with standing or vertical lines. Second would be, well, you need to take the asan with both vertical and slanting line. Third question is to cross the asans which have curved lines. Fourth for you is to put a star along with asans that have sleeping or horizontal line. And the fifth would be, okay, you also need to do some of these asans because then we can discuss the lines that we have noticed while doing the asans. Well, now that we have learnt about different kinds of lines and we have also started recognizing them, let's do an exercise together. You need to answer my question. Tell me, what is straight? Okay, see here. Hold a piece of thread in your hands. Is it straight? Okay, now bring your hands closer. Is the thread straight now? Tell me. Okay, I have another question for you. See this. Is it now standing, sleeping or slanting? Answer this. Hey kids, now you have become experts. You now know different kinds of lines. And see this beautiful image here? It's a park with some joy rides. But did you notice something? Some of the lines are missing. Why don't you help me trace those lines? Well, we can trace the missing lines, which are vertical line, horizontal line, slanting line, and a curved line. Let's see. Hey kids, you found those missing lines real quick. But can you do this? Well, did you know that we can actually create lines by joining the dots? We can create a straight line, a vertical line, a horizontal line, and a slanting line. And by joining these lines, we can actually draw beautiful pictures. See the one on your screen? Isn't it amazing? Wasn't that exercise amazing? I'm sure it was. 
Well, I have something else in store for you. And what is that? That is curve lines. Did you know that by joining the dots, we can actually make curve lines. And through those curved lines, we can draw some beautiful images like a image of a cloud, image of a flower, a rainbow and what not. See the one on your screen and try it for yourself. Hey kids, you have drawn such beautiful images using straight lines and curved lines. Well, now I have three tasks for you. Let's take the first one. You can draw mm, any image of your choice using two different kinds of lines. And in the next task, you must surprise me with a wonderful image using three different types of lines. Last but not the least, draw anything of your choice using all varieties of lines. Isn't it fun? I hope you all enjoyed learning about these lines. So next time when you go to shopping with your mummy or you go to a park with your daddy or you study in the class with your friend, notice the lines around you. Come back home, discuss them with your parents and have fun. I wish you all happy learning.